on the menu is just as important as what's going on around the court. Here's a look at what Gamebridge is cooking up for opening night and that you can enjoy all season. One of the things that we're really excited about is our guest chef program continuing over from last season. One of the great things about Indianapolis as a, a smaller city is a great sense of community and that's what we're doing here. We're showing the best that our community has to offer by inviting in local chefs to show off their signature dishes. The guest chef program started last year and highlighted a handful of rotating local restauranteurs, many of them minority owned. And backed by popular demand this year, wings and granny's greens. <laughs> Taste of Anova wings and greens, but this time permanently. We sold out for each game that we had and the funds went to a great cause and the proceeds went to uh, Gleaner's Food. So we were excited about that. It built our business by 25%. If you have a sweet tooth, come thirsty and stop by the shake bar. Here we have our Oreo overload, which is the Oreo cookie and vanilla milkshake. Over here we have the mega M&M, again a vanilla milkshake uh, with the M&Ms, our crazy cotton candy shake, which with cream, rock candy, suckers, and cotton candy. And then we have our crazy chocolate brownie shake with locally sourced brownies, whipped cream, chocolate chips, and a decadent chocolate shake. And if that's not your thing, just wander the field house and take your pick. We've got a birria ramen bowl, which is super delicious. We've got a bourbon bacon grilled cheese. And one thing that I really love is our crispy cinnamon wheels with Nutella, strawberries, and powdered sugar on top. So crispy cinnamon wheels, that's what you were asking when it first popped up on the screen. He's like, now wait, what is yeah, that? Yeah, I'm like, okay. And I know you really like Nutella too, so that would be like a good for dessert if the milkshake is maybe too much, which the milkshakes are very, very, very decadent. <laughs> I had the, the Oreo cookies mm -hmm. and cream because I like to keep it simple, mm -hmm. but the, the blue, the, the cotton candy one, mm -hmm. I'm like, that's for the, the one candy, that like yeah. your kids are going to ask for that and you're going to be like, you're going to be bouncing off the walls <laughs> until the next time you come back to a game because gone, they're, they're yeah. pretty big. Yeah. Gone are the days of the hot dog and the cracker exactly. jack. Exactly. And it. I mean, no, I'm not hating on that. No, I still think the classics are good, yeah. but you know, go big or go home. Yeah, so exactly. I, think I like that a lot. Did I see yeah. a Chick-fil-A in the background too? You did, yeah. And that's that's not new this year. It started last year, but okay. it was like towards the end of the okay. season. So, okay. Okay. and they've expanded their menu too. I checked it out. I checked out quite a few Much things. Much more from yeah. Gamebridge Fieldhouse, including oh, yeah. more food coming up a little bit later in Sunrise.